Problem number two, find the value of the missing variable around your answers to the nearest whole number. So the thing about these three particular problems is that we're given the values on all three sides. It also appears that we're finding the angle in each of these. And remember, when we find the angle in each of these, what we're looking for, or what we're, we have to use, is we have to use the inverse button which is sine to the negative one, cosine to the negative one, tangent to the negative one. And we can use whichever function we want. So I'm gonna use sine for A and cosine for B and tangent for C. You could use sine for all three functions or cosine for all three functions. You can mix it up. Ultimately, when you finish these problems, you should still end up with the same answer that I end up with. So again, here's our angle. If we go across, here's the opposite. Go across from the right angle. Here's our hypotenuse. And then we're left with the adjacent. Again, I'm just gonna start with sine. You can use any trig function here. This is sine of z equals the opposite, which is 28, divided by the hypotenuse you have to use the inverse button. And when we pull up my calculator, because I can't use um, Desmos on here, um, when you type it into Desmos, it's gonna look like that. And then our fraction is 28 over 35. And we're going to round uh, to the nearest whole number, so it's 53.1, so we're going to be left with z equals 53. Letter B. Here's our angle. We're going to label. Here's the opposite. Across from the right angle is the hypotenuse, which means that this is the adjacent. And again, because we know all three sides, you can use any function. I'm going to use cosine this time just to mix it up. And cosine is the adjacent length divided by the hypotenuse. We need to use the inverse button. And when we do that, only one button on Desmos. I have to push more than that, but there's the inverse cosine. And then we type in our fraction, which is 15 divided by 25. And then once again, we're going to round to the nearest whole number. We get 53.1. So this is going to be angle X is going to be 53 again. Finding angle W over here, labeling across from angle W is the opposite. Across from the right angle is the hypotenuse, which means that this is the adjacent. I've done sine, I've done cosine, so I'm gonna look at tangent. So tangent of W equals the opposite length divided by the adjacent length. When we're finding an angle, remember it's not a curse, we just need to use the inverse. So we're going to type it in, and when we type it in, there's the inverse button, and then it's going to be 40 over 30. Oop, wrong place here. And what do you know? We end up with the same value one last time because 53.1 is going to round to be 53.